Delicious is a next generation Perl web framework. In this episode, we'll install and get you started with your first Mojalicious Lite app. Installing Mojalicious is easy. One curl command and you're ready to go. It retrieves CPAN minus from the web and uses it to install Mojalicious from CPAN. It will work with Perl 5.8, though it's recommended that you use a version of Perl 5.10 or later, as previous versions are no longer maintained. Mojalicious is a full-featured web framework. It stays on the bleeding edge of web technology, even supporting features that mainstream browsers have yet to implement. Even so, less than a minute later, it's fully built and tested, ready for you to start your web development. The best way to get started with Mojalicious is with a Lite app. We can generate a Lite app with Mojo Generate. A Lite app is one file where you can embed code, templates, and even images. We can run our app using the built-in development server, Morbo. This is a sample app that Mojalicious generates for you. But for the purposes of this episode, we're going to create our own, from scratch. First, we tell Perl that this is a Mojalicious light app. Then we create a route, or an action, that tells the browser to display the text, hello. Then we tell the app to initialize. Let's use the development server, Morbo, to start the app, listening on port 3000. And there we have our text, as expected. This is fine but we need to be able to customize our layout using a separate template. Modulicious Lite allows us to do this simply in the same file. Data indicates that the rest of the file is for template markup. We create a simple template named hello with the same text and change our action to reference the new template. The browser reports the same text as expected. Let's change the template to make sure the changes are picked up. And there we go. The Morbo development server picks up the changes automatically, so we don't have to worry about restarting. Let's capture some URL parts. We'll create an action that captures the first two parts after the domain and render it to a new template. The new template takes those captured parts, referenced by the same name, and sends them to the browser. Let's say we want to modify those parts before we send them to the browser. We can capture the values in action and modify them accordingly. We'll store the modifications in the stash, replacing the original values. Sometimes, we want a common header and footer throughout a web app without duplicating HTML. Creating a layout solves this problem. Layouts have special parameters, such as title and content, that receive values passed from the template. Now that we have a layout, we can change our template to reference it and specify a title. By default, Morbo will print logging to standard out. If we create a log directory, logging will be deposited to the appropriate file. We'll have to restart Morbo for the change to go through. Since Morbo assumes development mode, the logging file will be development.log. The log is great for discovering mistakes while coding but Mojalicious takes it one step further. Let's say we mistakenly leave an error in our code, save it, and check it in our browser. 
The Mojalicious debug screen will leave you wishing you had more errors. It displays the exact location in your code. The environment provides a stack trace and even shows you a direct dump of the code that was executed by the compiler. Of course, once you fix the error, Morbo will automatically detect the change, and all you have to do is refresh the browser. You've now installed, created, and run your first Mojalicious Lite app from scratch. Check out the Mojalicious website for lots of tutorials and documentation for taking the next step. Mojalicious is truly an amazing framework. You've only just scratched the surface of where it can take you.